Hi, I'm Will from Right Stuff, and I'm here to talk about imperfect items. Now, I'm sure you've seen these imperfect items on our store, but not quite sure what they are. This product is new and considered perfectly functional, but imperfect in its beauty meaning it might have minor cosmetic issues that we would declassify it as collectible. But you may be wondering more about what those cosmetic issues or declassifying as a collectible may mean. So with this video, I hope to clarify some things. So I pulled out some items from our imperfect section in the warehouse, and I'll show them off in this video to help you get a better idea of what we mean by imperfect. First, let's take a look at imperfect figures. With imperfect figures, what we essentially mean is that the box is damaged, but the figure inside is good. So taking a look at this, the front doesn't look too bad on this Demon Slayer, but if we look on the back, that is very crumpled up, and the bottom is definitely crumpled up. So let's open the box and see what the figure looks like. So after opening the box and taking a look inside, the box itself is obviously damaged, but the figure itself looks like new. So if you're a person who really just cares about the figure and not the box and want to get a figure more at a value price, then this would be a good choice for you. So with Blu-rays, it's similar to figures. The case itself might be damaged, but the discs inside are functional. So taking a look at like this steelbook, you can see just above the title there, there's some scratches on the steelbook for some damage. And if you want to take a look at what one of our special limited edition box sets might look like, kind of looks like this. You'll see there's some dings on the edges. And usually, actually, this one's actually a miracle. Usually the like add-on box is a little bit crumpled, but for this, for this box set, it's just got some nicks and knacks on the outside. So that is what you can expect essentially with different imperfect box sets for Blu-rays and steelbooks. So for manga, that is probably a lot harder to picture on your mind because, well, the cover is part of the manga. Dumb to say, but something to say anyway. So I just wanted to show you what a difference is between a damaged manga and an imperfect manga. This is a damaged manga. This is an imperfect manga. Now the reason why this is imperfect is because under here at the bottom you can see some nicks and knacks compared to, you know, the manga, which, this damaged manga, which is, yeah. So that's the main ones when it comes to soft covers. For hard covers, it kind of depends. So for example, with this manga, you can see that there is a lot of dirt here. Now, this is dirt that, you know, when we open up, we're like, oh, we could try and like rub this off or something to see if it can get rid of it. But sometimes you just can't get rid, get rid of it. And so we put this in imperfect. And you can also see that there is a squished bent corner on this side. Now for the <clears throat> bigger books, like this Legend of Zelda, it's pretty similar actually to the Full Metal Alchemist one I just showed you. For example, there is a lot of squished corners here and up top, and you could see maybe through the plastic wrap, the little cut there. One thing that I wanted to point out that you might not, that you might see in other hardcovers is that the spine may be squished like at the bottom or the top, or oftentimes there's a lot of nicks, nicks or little cuts along the spine here, especially along the edges between the cover and the spine. Well, I hope this video helped you out a little bit to get a better idea of what an imperfect item is. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe buttons. And I will see you next time in the next YouTube video, which might be a birthday sale related. Mm-hmm. Or not. We'll see. Take care, everybody.